In the world of aviation, careful route planning can mean the difference between a successful airline and a bankrupt one. With such emphasis placed on route and network management, it's not surprising that almost all air routes that could potentially turn a profit are currently being flown, or have previously been operated. However, as cities expand and travel preferences develop, some city pairs with untapped potential are beginning to emerge. In this video, we look at three key routes that demonstrate the potential for profitability that no airline currently runs with scheduled passenger service. Let's get started. The first pair is Jackson Hole, Wyoming and Washington, D.C. To many, it may seem rather surprising that there's not yet a non-stop connection between the nation's capital and the largest airport in the state of Wyoming. Furthermore, with the rapid growth of the ski resort town, there has been an even larger number of people traveling to what is regularly ranked as one of the nation's top destinations for winter sports. With no individual income tax, the region has become not just a valuable place for second homes, but also a destination to establish residence for tax purposes. Without a direct service, travelers can connect with any of the major airlines, with Delta and United offering connections through their respective hubs of Salt Lake City and Chicago O'Hare. Next is Buenos Aires to Tel Aviv. Argentina, a South American nation with a rich cultural heritage and a population that hails from a variety of different ethnic groups, is home to the largest Jewish population in the Western Hemisphere after the United States and Canada. Buenos Aires is also an increasingly popular tourist destination. In an era where only 747s could make the trip between the two cities, the route was likely economically unviable. However, with modern and efficient twin jets, it's possible that an airline could fill its seats and break even on this transcontinental route. Currently, several European carriers offer one-stop connections through their respective hubs, while Delta connects the two cities with a stop at its main Atlanta hub. Finally, we have Luanda to New York. The reason for this city pair's potential profitability comes not from tourism or connection to an ethnic diaspora. Instead, it's due to a unique socio-economic transformation within the African nation. The prominence of wealth, driven primarily by the nation's booming oil industry, has taken hold of Angola's capital. Now, more citizens than ever are not only taking vacations to destinations such as New York, but business traffic between the two cities has continued to grow. Additionally, Angolans are increasingly studying at universities in the United States, further fueling air traffic. For now, airlines like Royal Air Maroc and TAP Air Portugal offer single-stop itineraries through their respective hubs. So what are some of the routes you believe that have great potential for airlines? Let us know in the comments. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.